Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you all? I hope that you guys are doing fine and I am as well. So today I'm going to be doing a comparison video between these two famous products which are quite famous in the makeup industry. Even if you don't own any primer, you can use any of them but maybe you want to understand which one to use. Nivea Man or Aloe Vera Gel. So today I think after seeing this video, you will have a clear view which product to use in which types of skin. So yeah, I'll be talking about A to Z about the product. I'll show you guys a demo on my face so that you guys can actually get a clear view. So I think now without further ado, I'll just directly jump on the demo. If you want to know that, please keep on watching till the end of the video. So I think now without further ado, I'll directly hey jump guys, on the demo. Hey guys, welcome to the demo part. So before heading towards, let me tell you, in my this side, I'm going to be using the Nivea Man After Shave and my this side, that means the left side, I'm going to be using an aloe vera gel. So yes, uh, now before heading towards the video, let me tell you, I am not flawless. Just like 10 girls, just like you, I'm not flawless. I have a lot of pigmentation, scars and uh, a lot of pimples and even pimple spots on my face. Just like a human and that's what makes us perfect. I think now, without further ado, I'll just directly apply the primer all over my face. So let's take the Nivea Man After Shave first and I'll be applying this on the right side. So just taking a little bit on my finger, I'll be just taking this much and I'll be applying this on my right side. I've used this on like 100 of videos of mine. So I, and as well I've shown you guys a review on my channel. So if you're interested in watching, what is this? Okay. So if you want to see a little bit more detail, then I'll put the video on the description bar. I'll apply this all over my face, especially on the T-zone area. Because this is the area where I like sweat the most. And it actually gives me a little bit of cooling sensation. Not like the Jandu Bamwala, but yeah, kind of. Which I really love. I love Nivea smell. I love their smell so yeah and I'll just let it dry for a couple of the minutes so now come up to my left side I'll be taking a little bit of aloe vera gel and I'll be applying this on my left side before heading towards let me tell you if you are actually allergic to certain things because um, as far as I know there are a lot of girls actually allergic to certain things so you can do a patch test over there just apply the product a little bit over there and have to feel that it if this actually make any itching on over that place and if it itch then like throw this product away don't use this but i don't have any allergies so i'll be just taking a little bit of aloe vera gel and for the aloe vera gel i'm using this natural secret aloe vera gel finger that much is enough i think and i'll be applying this all over my left side so be a little bit more careful while applying the aloe vera gel like uh, over your eye because as far as i know it actually give you a little bit of itching sensation because my eye actually itch so I'll be just applying this on my left side and a very little bit over my eye very carefully I'm back and that's how my face look like once it get dry so yeah uh, what I am understanding is the Nivea side actually giving me pretty glowing coverage as you can see it's actually pretty glowing and not so much matte and in this side like the aloe vera gel side it is actually not glowing or anything it's quite matte that's what i am understanding in only one use so now i'll just go ahead and just apply the foundation and i'll just see that how it actually turned out so for the foundation today i've chosen this wet and wild foundation retail for 950 taka uh, which is quite reasonable the reason why i've chosen this foundation is that it's not going to give you the full coverage and not going to give you the less coverage it's going to give you a very medium coverage medium to sheer coverage so that's why i've like chosen this foundation so that i actually can understand what difference it is actually making me on both of the side so yeah i'm going to be just taking a little bit of foundation on my back of my hand just like this much very less i'll take more if i need more and i'll take a little bit of like not really bit actually i'll take my full damp beauty blender and uh, it's damp it's it's not like dry it's not like wet or anything it's completely damp so yeah i'm gonna be taking that and i'll be picking up a little bit of product this much and i'll be first start off with my media side i guess So 
So guys, in just one coat, uh, what I'm understanding is in the Nivea side, it's pretty easy to blend. As I have like told you guys before, in the Nivea side, it's actually pretty much glowing and smooth. So it's actually pretty much easy to blend, which I really like. I just take product little by little and I'll build the foundation. So I'll just take a little bit of foundation and I'll just apply the product on my left side. That means aloe vera gel side. So so guys as you can see it is actually pretty much matte pretty much matte as you can see and it's in just one coat it is actually giving me pretty natural coverage that's what I'm understanding so I'll just see what happens in the end by the way guys like I am really really sad by the death of uh, Chester Billington I love him as a person I love Linkin Park so in the end is was like one of my most favorite songs still is so I'm just building the color as you can see guys it's actually giving me pretty matte coverage can you just see any glow I am I can't see any glow it's just like quite matte and if you guys are wondering that why my face is like a little bit more swollen the limit I have slept for like 12 hours at a stretch and that's how my face after 12 hours of sleep so I just apply the foundation so what i am actually understanding um, by one use is that um, this side is not so much matte like it actually nivea after shape turned my after some time uh, as far i know but it's kind of a little bit oily and glowy as you can see in that side and in this side is quite matte it's matte from the very beginning and it's actually giving me pretty matte coverage so if you are a big fan of matte coverage then you can go for the aloe vera gel side but if you're a big fan of welly glowy skin you know then you can go for the media side that's what i am understanding i'll tell you guys more about the pros and cons and the difference more but before that i'll just apply a little bit of makeup on my face and then i'll be back so guys i was just in the middle of applying a little bit of concealer and just to let you guys know then in the Nivea side, uh, it is actually pretty much easy to blend my concealer. For the concealer, I have chosen the product that I hate, the Revlon concealer. But it is actually pretty much easy to blend on the Nivea side. I'm really, really like kind of astonished. Anyway, so I'll just finish rest of my makeup and I'll be back. And of course, I'll come back if I have something more to tell you only then. So yeah, let's go ahead and just finish my rest of the makeup. Hey guys, I am back with a little bit of makeup. Actually, not a little bit, tons of makeup. <laughs> anyway, so that's how my makeup looks like. And I think that you guys can see how this primer actually played on my skin. I like two of the side, both of the side. So first, come on to the Nivea side. In this side, actually, as you can see, I'm looking more like wellier. I think um, I have like highlighter on. So that's why you guys can't actually see a lot of difference. But that's what I felt that you look more wellier so if you're a girl who want minimum glow on her face who are from the dry skin family or who just want a subtle glow on her face like glow though so then you can go for this side of course the nivea side nivea man after shave is quite gonna give you more wellier finish which i really love and want like a girl like me and in this side it's actually pretty matte and you know, if you are a girl who want pretty matte coverage and if you are from the valley family skin, what? Sorry, I mean, if you're a girl from the valley skin family, then you can go for the aloe vera gel. I've used this when I've started my makeup. I didn't used to have any primer. But yeah, if you're a girl who want a very matte glam, girlish and glam finish, then you can, of course, go for the Nivea side. Oh, sorry, uh, aloe vera gel side. I, I would say you that. And one fact that I really like about the Nivea Mandis is actually pretty much number two, like number two. Nivea side, it is pretty much easy to blend the product on your Nivea Man side. But in this side, it is actually pretty much hard. Like you have to put a lot of effort over this end. But number four is that in this side, you look more natural and you know, you, your skin feels like a skin. 
and um, which I really want and like. As I was saying, but as a blogger, it's like totally uh, my duty just to tell you guys about the product and like specific thing about the product. But it actually totally up to you whether you want to buy this product or not. Um, because something might work for me that doesn't mean that it's gonna work for you that's all for today I'll be back in my next video till then don't forget to let me know how your days are going and as well if you guys have any video requests because I love to keep up with all your requests and yeah that's all for today I'll be back in my next video till then please take care of yourself stay funky stay healthy stay beautiful I love you all so much bye bye